I got my first Moderna shot and then got really, really sick off that. So I decided Health Canada said um, it was okay to take uh, two different ones. So I was able to take Pfizer, which I had, you know, no problems with, the with at the time. But then what started happening is um, I became very ane anemic fast. And it started with iron deficiency. And then it finally started affecting all my blood work. So red blood cells, white blood cells, um, um, my hemoglobin mainly, enough to drop down to get a blood transfusion. I remember having a beautiful, wonderful summer. Um, I was still anemic and tired, but this is got, come to the point now where the vaccine is so understudied that I don't know what's coming next. Like I said to my doctor the other day, like, is this gonna be my last Christmas? I don't know because I've had a blood transfusion. I have two types of anemia, macrocystic anemia and hemolytic anemia. My doctor has con medically confirmed that it was the vaccine that has done this. Um, I am exempt from further um, vaccines coming out and I'm going to, because it's autoimmune, I'm going to discuss my son Oliver's four and he's turning five and there is zero chance that vaccine will ever get inside him. I had chest pain about two weeks ago and I called the ambulance and they took me into the hospital, Chinook Regional Hospital. And I found out I had a pulmonary embolism and I've got microclots. So that's another thing to add that's new. And thing, things, just when you think things are getting better, oh, everything goes down and I need another transfusion. Like, it's exhausting. And it's exhausting having a four-year-old throughout the process. And I don't want to see my nanny raise my son.